there are several um, mediums of working with students in the process of designing. There are uh, desk side crits, there are reviews, there are lectures, and there are pinups. Um, in this studio, every week a piece of the project is due, whether it be a model or a drawing, and we have what we call pinup, when all the students pin up their work and quickly explain what they are doing. And then I and other members of the class try to give comments on what they've seen to try to help to the next step. Because architecture is not just one step, it's a continual process, it changes. Perhaps people have the idea that it comes all at once. It doesn't, it comes over a period of time. So the pinup is a very valuable part of that uh, because it's giving students a feedback as to how they're moving and slowly uh, adjustments are made for the next step. So what you're about to see is a typical pinup of which happens uh, almost every week during the semester. Right, when I first visited the site, I was pretty amazed by the view, obviously, because we're up on the roof. We get to look over all of the North End, and I unfortunately am blocked from Boston. Um, I have a wall. There's a let's see, better view. Yeah. Well, there's a wall on the what side is that? Is it the well, east? That would be more the yeah, the east. East side. Yeah. Well, on the east side, there's a wall, so I can't I can't see Boston, but I see all of the harbor and the north end. Um, anyway, that wall is going to act as my entrance. Um, it's perfect for that. Um, but I still want to be able to see over that. Um, I'd love to have my bedroom like looking over Boston. That would be pretty cool. Um, so my idea was to have my main floor on uh, below the wall and then have uh, some kind of spiral staircase that leads up to a room on posts um, out looking over Boston and another one that's looking out over um, the harbor. Uh, in 10 years I see myself happily married with a firm of my own, successful firm. <laughs> Architectural firm. Um, and yeah, so no kids. No kids? No kids. No time. How about cats or dogs? I pro actually, I didn't think about that. <laughs> not, not, mm, I'll think more on that. Um, anyway, uh, my needs would be a bedroom, a uh, guest bedroom, two bathrooms, a uh, kitchen, dining room, and a study. And I'd like the study to be the other room that's elevated. Um, that would be the one looking over the harbor. And then the, my bedroom would be looking over at Boston. Uh, oh, my sight clue. Funny story. So I was going up on a fire escape to get photos of my sight. This photo, actually. You can see the fire escape. Um, got up there and the thing is horrible. It is rusty and it's about to fall down the entire thing and about every step uh, every, something was shaking and finally like I stepped on one step and it just completely gave way and then it clink 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 all the way down and landed on the ground. So I didn't think of bringing it back as a sight clue until later um, and I just I went up and saw the Paul Revere thing and then someone uh, Help me think of it, <laughs> that that would be an amazing cycle. So I went back and it was lying on the ground, so I grabbed it. Yeah, so it's pretty straightforward. Should be fun. I dig it. Okay, I was inspired. I think these are like granaries, or I don't, I don't know exactly, but they're just cylindrical and metal, and there's a barn underneath. And I kind of want to, I want a rectangular main floor with a kind of metallic um, spiral uh, staircase and then these rooms offshooting as 
curve, like partial circles. Um, I want to kind of capture the panoramic view. And like as it's done on this corner, this curve, like uh, just so you can see the whole. So I like that a lot. So that was the way I wanted to incorporate it. Um, and I'm just going to pump for some more information. Sure. What about the area or the north end? What did you, what, how did you react to it? Oh, I really liked the rooftop view. Like, uh, what do you mean north end? Like, well, this is, the north end is a very special kind of physical neighborhood as well as social in the United States. It was, it was very touristy, I noticed. Um, and I like the roof because you get away from most of the, you know, all the tourists. Mm -hmm. And uh, I agree with, there's a, with you, there's like a completely separate world up there. Um, I know, personally, like my roof, like of my house right now, like if you go up there, there's people having parties like randomly on rooftops and it's kind of cool just to check it out. And like I went by to one like the other day, like the next door neighbors were having like a barbecue and everything on their roof. So that was kind of cool. But I think that's going to happen a lot here, so I want to have roof access as well. Well, for me, seeing the site for the first time is one of the most ex exciting parts of architecture. I can't sleep the night before when I see a site. Um, and I was curious how you people were going to react to the North End. The night before? <laughs> I find I'm like a kid. I'm up all night. Uh, I'm going to see a new site next week, and I just I can't wait well, that's a little different problem. Um, and I got another site from Turkey today, which I have to go for. Um, I will be going on a Friday and coming back on a Monday morning in a couple of weeks or so. So, but I saw the site um, in photographs, and it's, it's, it's very exciting to see a new site. So I was curious to see how you folks would react to that. Um, a couple of things. Good starts, guys, as always. You guys always have good starts. In Philip's case, a couple things that I thought was interesting. He did not tell us that his site is probably one of the most important ones because where did he go? There he is. He is the busybody or the caretaker of our public site down below. Um, the the other thing is immediately jumping to from the program. No kids or one kid? I can't remember. No kids. Okay. That's good because you may lose them all up here. In the <laughs> <laughs> right. That's what this could be. Uh, what's v quickly very interesting about this sketch from where he is is that we have a delicate kind of dance between contextual and non-contextual uh, architecture. That which fits and that which doesn't, which is the case, it was the case with the last project. It's no different. It's always the case. Whether it's a built quarry as we're using this or a so-called natural quarry as the last one. What I find interesting is that this kind of vocabulary, which we can start to imagine, fits in very much to the roofscapes that we know. For instance, those who are from New York, you will find every roof has a water tower on it. Uh, and here we don't, for some reason. I'm not sure why. But the kind of form that this is starting to, sh to suggest, suggests that it's part of the roof, part of the sky. I, um, I don't know how it works yet, but I think your decision of using the back wall to move into it and using this as a generator, uh, a very strong generator of, of the view, and then I'm not sure what this is. Uh, moving in off of this is very powerful. So it's a good start, Philip. What we've got to do now is to make this work in, in plan. I mean, there's no plan there yet. There's ideas. But the idea is that the conceptual form making is, is very strong. Um, I would invite you to use this as a clue as to what kind of architecture you might find up here that is a light steel construction uh, might work, huh? <laughs> yeah, as opposed to heavy. This is heavy. But the notion of the skeleton kind of form might be a, 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 another interesting 
way of uh, being up there. So my first ideas when I got to the North End, the first things that I noticed um, were just the fact that um, there was a lot of layering, and, and I like the fact that materials sort of merged into other materials. Um, here I tried to to mimic the cobblestones in the street, and then it um, the pavement, how it just merged into the pavement. Um, just that idea, I liked a lot how materials merged into other materials. And this is the facade of my building. Um, here is where we met, and my building is, or it's really two buildings, and I, my site is either on top of both or uh, on top of one of them, and I'm sort of thinking of taking over both sides for now. Um, but what I liked a lot about the facade, just looking at it, it, is the fact that you can tell, you can tell the history of the building. You can see how it, it has evolved over time. Um, this is somewhat different to the next level, which is somewhat different to the next level, but they merge. I like the way the materials merged. And uh, I want my, my building, my apartment, to, to merge with that, to be another layer of the building. Um, so that, that's my main idea. I envisioned myself being married, I think. At first I thought, well, I, I'm, I'm not sure there's so much to do before getting married, so many places to visit um, in the world that I wanted to visit. But uh, right across from this is the playground. And I sat in the little playground and I thought, this would be really nice to have kids. So if I, I hopefully will be married. And if I am, I'd have two kids. But if I wasn't, I think at that point I'd adopt a child. And, uh, and if I live here, I have to have a kid. There's a beautiful playground right across. Um, so, and the, the, just the community seemed very friendly. Um, just when I was there, I talked to a woman and, her, and she had her child with her and just a very open sort of, um, it seemed like a lot of parents were there. So, um, so this idea of merging and this idea of uh, creating layers, um, I, I decided that I, I would sort of use the facade to, to guide um, the way that I was going to design. Because I couldn't get myself away from this sort of idea that I want the materials to merge. I just couldn't start thinking about what the form of the building would be. So what I did was I, I just decided that I'd make a grid sort of. I, I feel like I have a lot of leeway here. I have a, a site that doesn't have a problem such as Sarah's. Sarah has a church she has to deal with. I feel like I'm, I don't have such a problem that is prominent. And so I need some sort of parameters to help me try to design. Um, so part of my program would be um, I wanted to have a fencing room because I saw myself as either an assistant coach or a competitive fencer. But uh, I was told that that would be a better idea for the community center. So I can coach there if I need to. <laughs> um, well, you might fall off the roof. This is point. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I, I do want a garden. Uh, I, I think I, I love gardens. I love trees. and. Um, I'd like some way to have a, a garden surrounding the house to make sure to be on top of the middle of the sea. Another building is right at this very little corner. They they merge and they they continue. And so I like that idea. And I'm thinking even there, having my chimney just extend from there. Um, this is another view from the back, from the alley, uh, just to see where things are and that, that's Sarah's um, site and mine's right on top. So maybe we can, I don't know, get together. But I, I don't have any sort of idea what my forms of my building is going to be. I just, I think the last couple of days it's just given me the opportunity to think about what kind of parameters I want. I think it's interesting for me to see how people um, relate to the North End. And one of the reasons why I chose the North End is that it's a r very rich place, architecturally, socially. Um, and she has found this notion that she calls merging of materials, time, which is what the North End's all about, is a merging of time. And we get Paul Revere around the corner, but we can find uh, uh, you know, young professionals living here, so there's a, m a merging over time, and also of that results, I think, in what happens here of the style. 
I'd like to, as I mentioned to her the other day, consider another word, which I will talk about on Thursday, which is layering. There are layers of different time or different materials in the North End, which is quite different than any place else that we would be. You have the layers of, of uh, different materials. The uh, fire escapes, for me, is a layer of something against the hardness, very skeleton. So this notion, as indicated by the sketch, by the way, how many kids we got? One, three, and two. So we got six already. It beats last year's class where we only had three, I think. Um, and incidentally, the observation is very uh, revealing of the North End as a playground. If you think about um, the exposure of children or us to other people, which is quite different than if we had to pick the site in the suburbs, which we wouldn't have, um, because this has a lot of opportunities to, for exposures, all kinds of exposure. You meet somebody from Iowa walking up. And I found, I, I've asked you, but I continually find that the North Enders are friendly people. They, they'll stop and talk with you. I never have been challenged. Um, unlike the suburbs. You go in the suburbs and you try to talk to someone, you'll be arrested probably on the spot because you're up to no good. But that's not the case here. It's a very public thing. So I thought that was an interesting observation. But I just want to pick up on this, which she has suggested in a geometric way. And I think she's actually suggested in an architectural way what I would like to talk about. But in plan, if this is the roof, that these layers might not necessarily, these are planes of part of the floor and the walls, I should say, may not at all line up with the old layer. They may, may miss it in two ways. This is, if you're following me, this is a setback of a plan. This is her garden and her design. <coughs> this is light comes through. But that's one way. And then the other way, if that's the boundary, the layers could come out, which we may see in others. So instead of a direct interpretation of it, you could think of this as coming up to here and the geometry pick up, but the layers are maybe set back, which means that on top of this, then we have this kind of transitions or layers of different materials. And they could be entirely different. You didn't talk about the roof form, sky form. Uh, you may need you know, a cloud floating by or something to th th think about that. But um, that quality of this sketch is very powerful on that place. So I think that's a great start.